forget the rest of the competition. His work best time happens to be obliterating world record. Well, one of the things he has been focusing on is this element, the start. And his coach times him to 15 seconds, and he's been knocking about a tenth of a second off. So Martinigi down in lane five, has got a strong start. Um, Shimanovic, Kamineva, not Kamineva, sorry. <laughs> she was, the, she was the, a backstroke from the freestyler from Russia. Um, Kaminga from Holland there. Their starts are incredible. You'll see Peter will lose so much on the start, but his swimming speed is just blinding. Well, being led out at the moment is Niccolo Martinengi of Italy. Oh, well, he didn't hit the turn very well at all. Martinengi in second at the turn, 26-7. Half a second faster than the first semi-final, but uh, Martinengi looking good. Now PT, one lane up from those two, starting to pull away. Also going well up in two is James Wilby. Yep, Wilby clawing his way back, needs to get in, needs to finish this race well to make the final, but PT in the middle there. Starts upping his tempo, spotting the wall. So Petey's going to win the second semi-final time, 57-67. One other person in history has gone under 58 seconds, and he just does it for fun, doesn't he? He just keeps on pumping him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely right, Adam. Another 57-second 100 metres breaststroke, just phenomenal. Martin Inke pushed him well down that first. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, two Italians giving it a little bit of special. But the second 50 of PT is just ridiculous, isn't it? So strong. Yeah, it's almost like the first lap sort of 90%, and then he just goes to the legs, starts pumping those arms. And will be finished well as well. Will be finished in third, 